Hi guys, I'm Mr. Welcome to Trinidad at Dubwise Cafe. It is going to be something new to Kingston. It is a little piece of Trinidad in the heart of Kingston, and it's called Trinidad. It's my Trinidadian cuisine, but it's done by Jamaicans. So Trinidadians, we call ourselves Trinidadians. That's, that's the direction we're going for. Since our first interview, we got a lot of feedback. A lot of people ask for more Trinidad cuisine, and they keep on asking, like, where's our spot? Where's our spot? And I think, the time is right now for us to really try this new venture and take it on a new path in terms of the culinary cuisine of the country and just the options and variety. Our menu is a vegan based menu with the option to add meat, chicken, fish, shrimp, pork or beef and it's all clean, no preservatives, we make all our sauces, uh, it's affordable and we conveniently located on Lady Musgrave. I can imagine to make authentic Trinidadian food, it's a little bit difficult to get ingredients and materials in. What's that process been like for you? That was our biggest challenge, but we made some connections in the country. Uh, a lot of people live by the rivers. A lot of ingredients that we need in Trinidad, it, there is access to it in Jamaica, but Jamaicans don't use it. So it's hard to find, but once you find it, it's easy to get. So what would you say is your flagship meal? I know you offer a wide variety. Doubles. Doubles and second, like a very close up runner uh, is Moss Up Shop uh, roti. It is a soft, uh, flaky uh, type roti uh, served with like chickpeas and pumpkin and uh, like four or five different um, veggie options. And you could also admit it, but that is like one of the main dishes back home. Uh, customers love it. It caters to every, every dietary restriction possible. So I think so far that is the foreigner. Doubles and protein. Alright. And I know in your last restaurant you had a lot of Jamaican Trinidadian fusion. Yeah. Most of the names of uh -huh. the things were of Jamaican things. Yes. So people could understand. These names though seem very no. authentic <laughs> no, to no, Trinidadian. No, no, no. These are the real these names are the real Trinidadian names. Yeah. Why so, did you decide to do that? Because now that we got our uh, baby toe in the door into the Jamaican culture, uh, I think I want to not just introduce the food, I think I did that already. I want to like educate the people on our cuisine, on our culture, on our food. So that is why I decided to put the real names that we call it. And instead of having to word it differently, we word it the original way and we just explain it. So it makes us more user friendly with the customers, I, I, I would say, because it, it, it helps with communication and it helps to explain our product easier. Um, there, and people like it. Are there any parts of this uh, new venture that kind of reminds you of the cafe that you had back in Trinidad? Of course. So again, I compared Jamaica to uh, like three times the size of Trinidad. So our cafe back home was the same concept, but a very small version, like a practice. So coming to, this, to coming to Jamaica now, I've been able to uh, use up more of the resources and have things more accessible to us. It makes it a lot easier to execute the vision that I had back in Trinidad. And I appreciate the fact that it's the whole new audience so that everybody can come along the journey at the same time. Well, when you came, you were supposed to be a stay-at-home dad. Yes. And now you have three ventures going. Yeah. How is, how, is, how is your family? All right, so that? we went from stay at home dad to never at home dad, right? My kids are at the cafe all the time. Sundays are all day. You know, we still have a lot of family time. So I think they also enjoy having a little piece of home in Kingston. It just makes everybody feel better. And that was our goal, to bring a little piece of home to all the foreigners or to even the nationals. But just, it's, it's expensive to go to Trinidad. So if you could bring it here, and let people at least get a sample of it. I think that's our goal. After the first interview, what yes. was the reception to your food like? Oh man, that interview was the gateway. I think it was the push that we really needed. We got recognition from everywhere. 
because of that interview, right? It was, I really, I really need to thank you for that because it, it made me and our team introduce uh, the introduction of the new food to the culture. It made it a lot easier. It made it so much easier and it also helped a lot of new customers came, they found the spot, they started spreading the articles and the feedback that we got was incredible. It really is. So now you're here at Dubwise. Dubwise is known in Kingston as one of the places that the culture, yeah. reggae culture specifically, thrives. Uh -huh. You now as a Trinidadian coming into that space, what are you expecting? So like six months ago before we opened the restaurant, I had the conversation with the uh, guys in charge of Dubwise, the Dubwise team. And I mentioned to them that, you know, it would have been a great venture. And I don't think we were ready yet. But then a couple months ago, I saw the same team and they had the space available. And it's like, now they actually offered the space to us to do the collaboration. And I think Trini Yard being Trini and Yard as Jamaican, I think there's no, there's no better spot for us to start this up. Right. The community is welcoming, the, the location is great, right. a safe environment, kids friendly during the day, adults extra friendly during that, that night. Right. It's, a, it's a very welcoming environment and so far we feel, we really, we really do feel the, uh, the love and support from the Dubois community and by extension the Kingston, Jamaica community. Tell me, what is your name and where are you from? Hi, my name is Chanel. I am originally from Trinidad and Tobago, but I live here in Kingston. So you are here at Mr. Trini Yard. What is the food like and what's the experience like? The food is very good. They've opened probably a couple of weeks now. It's probably, I don't know, my how much of a time coming back here to buy food. It's really good, good customer service. So really suggest everybody try it out. So he has made it very clear that he's making authentic Trinidadian food. As a Trinidadian, is he right? Is it really authentic? Yeah, it's very good. I buy the barbecue all the time because it really reminds me of home and it, it, you know, it helps me when I miss home and I can't go, get a little taste of home right here in Kingston. The initial opening hours from Tuesday to Saturday, from 12 uh, p.m. to 8, from Tuesday to Thursday, on a Friday and Saturday, we open a bit later. Um, 10 o'clock safe, hours going to be adjusted depending on the foot traffic. Right? For now, that's our, um, our starting hours. And on the weekends, we do barbecue. We're gonna do stuff like fried bake. So literally, you Google Trinidad and the cuisine from Trinidad. And I think if you don't find it at Trinidad, it's gonna be coming soon.